Hey bros, got the first of those instructional videos I was promising y'all. The first one here we are going to cover biome edit. Alright, we'll come out here, you'll notice it is snowing out here on uh, the frozen part of the uh, ocean here, but once you go out a little further, all of a sudden the snow stops. We've still got it out here on the shore, but it's not actually snowing. It's also not snowing out here. So the first thing we're going to have to find out is what happened to this biome that we're standing in when um, the new generator came in. What did it change it to? So the command we're going to use is biome. I think you can actually biome help. Yeah, maybe not. Is it help biome? There we go, help biome. Alrighty. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go biome um, get. That's the first command. And it tells us we are now in a desert biome. You wouldn't think it to look at it, but that's what this biome has been changed to. So, that is not what we are wanting. And we can do biome list. I think yes there that'll list all the biomes now some of these are not actually in the game anymore it gives a list of all the different ones that were uh, have been in since biomes first came in now you see desert what we're wanting right here is frozen ocean so we're going to do biome set and we'll do frozen ocean all right, so now it's set to frozen ocean. Now the thing about this is it does actually change the biome and the listing, and it would be snowing here if um, you were to load this chunk in. But of course, it's not going to reset it while your client is running. So you're going to log out, and then we're going to log back in. And you come back in, and poof, lo and behold, it is now snowing in this chunk. So those are the three commands you need. You need biome get, which will tell you the name of the biome that you're in, biome set, which is going to change it to the biome, and then biome list, which will give you a list of the ones you can change it to. The other nice thing about doing this is, let me pull up some dirt here. One of the side effects of it is if you get a situation like this, you can find the boundaries and it will actually enable you to find where the actual chunk boundaries are. Like right here. There you go. We're going to mark this out. It's actually 16 in each direction. And we have actually found now, in this snowing area, an actual Minecraft chunk. Boom. So that area in between those four, um, in between and including those four dirt blocks there is an actual chunk. And if you wanted to actually map out your chunks, you could count out, you know, 16 from here and put down another one. And, uh, for instance, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, and right here should be another chunk, and as you see it's not snowing here either, so why don't we go ahead and biome set this one, it's probably also, let's do a get, desert, yeah, if you remember the early, um, whenever they changed, um, in the early days, the first few times they changed the, the, uh, terrain generator, it seemed to set everything to uh, snow biomes because remember everybody complained about their lands freezing up and the oceans freezing over. It seems like now the option is that it changes everything to deserts most of the time. Alright, so we've set this to frozen ocean again. Let us disconnect, reconnect, and lo and behold, there we go. Another frozen ocean chunk. And if we counted correctly, Yep, we did. There you go. We found the other edge of the biome there. And like I said, by counting, you could, should be able to actually um, map out where your biome's edges are. 
uh, where your chunks edges are. Like right there, we have managed to map out two actual chunks in the game. As you see, the snow is only falling inside them, and once you pass the edge, you're out here in the desert once again. So that's the first command, the first uh, plug-in that we're using. It's called Biome Edit, and it allows you to to find out what biomes you're in and to set them. Um, now you can set them to any of those sections. Um, my, you know, preference is that I only use it to actually um, repair damage. You know, if you've got a section that used to not snow, like uh, for instance in uh, in Dwindon's home. Whoa! Thunder lightning. If uh, you've got a a section in Dwindon's homeworld where you know he doesn't like to play it anymore because all of a sudden everything has frozen over, um, his o his uh, ocean is frozen. His, the biome gods are angry. His oceans have frozen over, and uh, his uh, ship that he built is now snow locked, ice locked. Um, he can go out there and change each one of the biomes into. Um, back to what they used to be, whether just plain old ocean biomes or or uh, plain forest or whatever. So and vice versa. If you remember, whenever I first landed here, all this was snow and frozen. And then whenever the I think 1.0 or whatever it was 1.2 came through, it changed it all to desert, so that nothing snowed or changed it to desert and and plain, so that nothing snowed here anymore and it only rained. So I've bu been busy traveling around the island, turning my island back into the winter wonderland that it originally was and that I was so happy to have found whenever I popped up in it. So that's the main purpose of it. Um, you know, you can use it for other things if you really, really want to, you know, change your desert into jungle. Um, that's kind of, you know, we will call it cheating, but Whatever floats your boat, whatever makes you happy. So there you go. Anyway, the one thing I will say is you will notice here. Um, is it at right here? You'll notice one of them says hell. Don't use that one because what that does is it sets the settings for nether. So if I were to go out here in the middle of this... Um, middle of this snowy area and change it to, you know, change the biome to biome hell. Um, it would think this was a nether. You would get a dark, uh, moody sky and pigmen and ghasts would spawn here. So please don't use that. Let's keep the pigmen and the ghasts in the underworld where they belong. Alright, so that's that. Next time I will post up one of these. Um, covering how to use the world guard and the world edit um, to lay down areas that you can protect from the pigman. So we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching. Any questions send me an, an email in the server or uh, text me or whatever. And we'll talk to you then. Bye.